So I got a new 3D printer motherboard. And if you don't know, a 3D printer motherboard is basically what sends the command to the 3D printer so that it can actually print stuff. Anyway, I've been meaning to upgrade my 3D printer's motherboard for a long time. Considering it's a longer LK4 motherboard and it's also closed source so I can't really do any upgrades to it. So I've been seeing people use a new software for the 3D printer called Clipper. Anyway, Clipper requires like a computer to be attached to your motherboard for it to actually work. The mini computer attached to the motherboard allows for a whole array of different things that you can do with your printer. You can connect your printer to your computer remotely using like a website. You can also use the computer to make your prints print faster using input shaping, which is one of the features that the community developed for Clipper. It also has way better support for auto bed leveling probes than my motherboard right now. You can actually generate a mesh for bed leveling so you can get that perfect first layer every time. So the motherboard I'm gonna use to run Clipper is called the Manta E3 Easy. It has a lot of the features I'm looking for to upgrade my printer. The motherboard has a spot on it where you can put the computer module. So I bought the motherboard along with this computer. It's an alternative to the Raspberry Pi, it's called the CB1. Not to mention, you can even connect a camera to the motherboard and everything. It has two USB ports. This motherboard is also jam-packed with a bunch of connectors, so you can connect a lot of things. Anyway, it's time to install it. So the first thing I gotta do is take out the old motherboard. This thing's actually been giving me a lot of trouble. It used to work perfectly fine, but now it doesn't connect to the computer using the USB cable in the back. I guess the port stopped working, but now I can't adjust the Z offset anymore. And the BL Touch didn't really work that well with it to begin with. So let's unbox the new motherboard. This is the Wi-Fi antenna. This is the CB1. These are the 2209 drivers. These are different connectors. And finally, this is the motherboard itself. Now I'm just gonna attach the computer to the motherboard. Once you line up the CB1 onto the motherboard, it just snaps in. I forgot to record this part, but I actually also installed the 2209 drivers. I printed this mount to hold the motherboard onto the printer. I probably should have printed on this printer before I started taking it apart. But anyway, it just screws on and hopefully it will fit the motherboard. Now that the motherboard is screwed onto the printer, it's time to start plugging in cables. I just followed the wiring diagram that's listed on the manual. So after plugging everything in according to the diagram, everything turns on. Then, to get the printer connected to the Wi-Fi, I followed this tutorial. Then, after watching a whole bunch of tutorials on how to set up the start G code, the printer config, and everything else, I got Clipper running. I'm not going to go into depth on how I did this, uh, I linked a bunch of tutorials in the description, so yeah. And if you guys want the config file that I made, um, you can go check out the description. I linked it there in the GitHub page. So anyway, after getting the BL Touch to probe the bed, it was time to start printing. Oh yeah, I forgot, I had to make this um, paper thing to stop the cables from like getting caught on the motor back there. So yeah. So the first thing I'm going to print is this case for the motherboard. I designed it in Blender using a couple of other models that I found on things first. Oh yeah, I also got new bed clips that were way lower profile. I decided to make this part use M4 nuts and bolts. Once this part was screwed in, I started screwing in the motherboard. cable tie stays on and it holds the cables from the printer. So now that the motherboard is officially installed, what do you guys want me to print? Anyway, like and subscribe, and um, I hope YouTube actually recommends this video to people.